What's up guys, it's Team APS, I'm Alec. And I'm Calvin. And today we have a brand new structure deck duel for you guys. Today I'll be pioneering the Soul Burst structure deck. Versus Zombie Horde. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And also leave a comment down below for what deck you think will win. It's mine. So the deck I'll be playing is Soul Burner, which is Salaman Grace. It's basically all about reoccurring. Uh, bring your monsters back from the graveyard, Bring out your link monsters, reincarnate some of them. I'm not even sure that's a real turn, but it's basically some of them twice. Get all kind of bonus effects. So I'm gonna see how this how this is gonna work out. So zombie horde is a bit atypical of a zombie strategy. We're still bringing zombies back from the grave, but now we have our new boss monster, Doom King Bearerdrock, who is a control machine. He comes back from the grave, he pops cards, he negates effects, and that's what this deck's all about. It's just about Playing Zombie World, Everything Zombies, and Barely Drop Control. Nine. Eleven. Twelve. Twelve. Uh, ah. Okay, your choice. I played Southern Man Grace before. Um, I think I'll go first. Normal Southern, Southern Man Grace Foxy. Reveal the top three cards on my deck. And if it's a Southern Man Grace card, I can add it to my hand. For Man Rage, Link Summon. For Bay Links. Fake the Bay Links. Let's me add. Uh, Solomon Grave Sanctuary from my deck to my hand. Play Sanctuary. And I shall sit two and end my turn. Draw for turn. I'll activate Zombie World. Here we go. Yeah. Turn all monsters in the field and in the grave into zombies. And then I'll pay the cost. Discard my Marionette Might. I can t I can target and take control of one zombie on your side of field. I'll be taking your Bay Links. Normal Summon my Unizombie. Mm -hmm, that's a good card. I'll activate its effect. I'll increase the level by one and send a zombie from deck to grave. I will send... My Glow Up Bloom. So if Glow Up Bloom is sent to the graveyard, I can banish it and then add a zombie from deck to hand. Except because I have Zombie World, I can special summon it to the field. And I'll get my Doom King Bear Drop. All right, I'll activate Unizombie's Zombie's other effect. I will increase in level by one again, so now it's level five, to level discard five. a zombie from my hand. I'll discard, discard my Gozuki. Effective Gozuki, when it's sent to graveyard, I can banish another zombie from my grave that I'm marrying it might. And I'll special summon one zombie from my hand. I'll get my malevolent mech Goku N. And he doesn't really have any uh, important effects on my field. He's just big. And I'll move to battle. So Goku N attacks for 24. Bailings will attack for 500. Yuna zombie attacks for 13. And then Bearerdrock attacks for 28. Uh, damage calculation. I'll activate a zombie power struggle. I'll increase him by 1,000. And I'll make a game. Oh, no 2 for you. <laughs> game two. Your choice. Cause I'm going first. Because <laughs> I lost. <laughs> I lost. Oh man, I can't say so I don't want to say it. Oh, this hand is. Jesus. What are, I don't even know any of these cards. I start off the same way. Normal Summon Foxy. A fit. Reveal 3, you add a Salaman Grey. Um, I'm going to get Salaman Grey mode. I shall oh, link something. <laughs> but links. No effect. The effect of Salaman Grey mode. During your main phase, you link some of this turn, you can switch some of this card from your hand to your zone and link monster points to. I shall link up. Do little chimera. Chris on my fire monster take by 500. I shall end my turn. Draw. I will normal summon my Shiranui Solitaire and I'll activate his effect. Tribute, Tribute yes. for cost. And he'll special summon my Unizombie from the deck. Then I'll activate Unizombie's effect. I'll increase the level by one and send a zombie to the grave. <laughs> I'll send Mizuki. I'll activate Mizuki. Special summon my Shirinui Solitaire. I will special summon Kasha because I control Wait. two or more zombies on the field. Kasha's effect is we shuffle in as many, as many, or I shuffle in as many zombies from the field as possible. And he gains attack times a thousand times the number of monsters shuffled back. Wait, is it shuffling in zombies or everything? Oh, it's everything. all it's all monsters, my bad. Okay. Well, only the zombies give me uh, oh, yeah, only zombies. So he'll have two thousand. <laughs> and I'll go and I'll go ahead and enter battle and attack it for two thousand. Yeah. Then main phase two, said one, pass. Draw. Oh, true King. What? Dude, let him know and how that works. Fate to summon True King. Oh true I'm true king. At least one fire monster. Agnimizad. The Asthma God. So you have to destroy two from the hand. Destroying two, and I should pick foul and flame bear fire dog. And since he was summoned by destroying two fires, I shall banish that. I shall move towards battle phase. Attack for 29. Main phase two. I shall set I one. Your throw. Draw for turn. I will set one in pass. <coughs> oh, that's what I like to hear. Draw for turn. 
Salamangre Sanctuary. It lets me reincarnate my <laughs> Salamangre monsters. I shall use Foxy effect from the grave. I can discard a Salamangre card if there's a face up spell or trap on the field. Uh, this will summon itself from the grave. Discarding the raccoon. This special summon Foxy. Enter battle phase. 29. You hit Pyramid Turtle. So I will special summon one zombie monster with 2,000 or less defense from my deck. Necro World Banshee. Main phase two. Here we go. Draw for turn. I'll normal summon my Tati Necro. Synchro Summon for seven. Red Eyes Zombie Necro Dragon. He gains 100 attack for every zombie monster in the field and in the grave. And I'll go ahead and activate my Necro World Banshee. And I can activate Zombie World from my deck. So now, all of our monsters are zombies. Yeah, they are zombies. So he's getting 800 for 30. Two. Yeah, and I'll enter battle. My red eyes zombie necro will attack your Agnimizad. 300. And I'll move to main phase two. Set one, pass. Draw for turn. I shall special summon Salamangre beat bison in defense. If you have three or more Salamangre, Salamangre monsters in your graveyard, you can special summon this card from your hand in defense position. Then it has another effect. You can target five late monsters in your graveyard to the number of face up cards your opponent controls. Return them to the extra deck. Then you can negate the effects of face up cards your opponent controls until the end of this turn. Up to the number of cards you returned. Target one and return. So now he just goes back to 24. I should link some into another bay links. Both of those away into another dude with a chimera. Now I shall attempt to enter battle phase. I shall swing at your zombie necro. Perfect. Um, I use the little chimera fit. Yes. Let's try my battle card fit. Get the target one five months and add it from my graveyard to my hand. I get the true king as a good Now I can use my Solomon Great Mole effect. And he allows me to banish himself. Target five Solomon Great cards, shuffle them, then draw two cards. Summon True King. I shall <laughs> use Fencing, Fire Fur, and Ash Blossom. The True King effect. you go. Okay, let me, let me draw for turn. Normal summon, Gozuki. Yes. Activate Gozuki's effect to send a zombie from deck to grave. Send Bearer Drock. I'll activate Monster Gate. I will tribute and excavate cards until I can until I see a monster that I can normal summon or set. Okay. So I, I special summon Tristan, Knight of the Underworld. I don't know why these cards are in this deck, but uh, because I control Tristan, Knight of Underworld, I can special summon I sold Bell of the Underworld. I can target two zombie monsters I control to clear a level 5 to 8 and they become that level until the end of this turn. And that's all she does. She's going to defense. Pass. In phase. Transmigration Prophecy. Shuffles two monsters from either grave into the deck. I choose two cards in the grave and shuffle them into the deck. I mean, as I go back into the deck, as I go back into the deck, I shall attempt to enter battle phase. And I shall attack. To 11. And it is your go. Draw for turn. I will activate my Marionette Might. Take control of your Agnimizid. My enter battle. Yes. I sold will attack for 1,000. Agnimizid will attack for 2,900. And I got a pass. Draw for turn. Just set one and then attempt to move the battle fight. Set 29. That's 1,900 damage. Your go. Draw. Come on now. I'll go ahead and activate my burial from a different dimension. I can take three banished cards and add them back to my grave. Mizuki. I am not pleased with right Necro now. and Necro World Banshee. I'll activate Mizuki to special summon my zombie Necro. I'll enter battle. My zombie Necro will attack your Agnimizid. I made 29. What you hit? Damage calculation. Zombie power struggle. He, I will increase by 1,000 attack. Okay, so he's so he starts at 24, 24 right? 24, yes. He gains 100 free zombie. Yes. On the field and in the, grave. Field in the grave. So it's automatically 26 on the field. And yeah, one, 26. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, 32. Well, we're already, we're no, we already counted him. Oh. So 32. 32. And 36. Then right? plus. And 1, then 000. this gives him 1,000 more, so, so now he's 46. So 29. 29. 17. Hey, that'll begin. Good game. Gotta I like win. It's gotta happen to everybody, man. You got any any words, Calvin? I've been bamboozled, hoodwinked, led astray, grown him up, cheated. I initially I thought that this would be Bulldog dot deck, but because everything's at one, he's actually hard to get to. But then, but not, but the rest of the zombie cards are really solid, even if they are weird. They're really solid. I don't know what it's supposed to do. It's supposed. To, the back of the box literally says reincarnate. And I have one bay link, no sunlight move. Only thing I can I can make twice is a link three. This is a great, this is a great structure deck. <laughs> it's wonderful. It's wonderful.
If you like that, guys, be sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, I'm going to tell you again, subscribe and hit the notification bell. And stay tuned for more Team APS duels in the future. Pass turn.